thinking of some creative ways to celebrate with your sweetie. Yep, and we've got uh, Hope from It's Just Lunch here. Always good to see her with some ideas on what you can do. Because here's the thing, Valentine's Day falls on a Saturday this mm -hmm. year. A lot of things to do, but they're all going to book up pretty early. So you should start planning now, right? Definitely. Um, start making plans. Um, you want to do something fun. I've got some tips for you guys, uh, depending on what type of couple you are okay. and what your tastes are. So first is for the unpredictable couple. You want to do something new. You want to spice it up. Maybe plan a scavenger hunt, right? Okay. We live in Denver. Embrace it. Maybe you do um, a horse carriage ride to the Brown Palace, or you have couples massages, or you spend the night Ooh. there. So you're adding that adventure in with some romance. Okay. Because it's so hard to get out, and so make it, if you can get out, let's make it good. Definitely. Right. Definitely. So a romantic dinner or romantic outing isn't for all of us. If you are more of, um, let's say you you like to go out to the arcades, you're, you're a gamer, the gamer couple. Okay. Maybe you go to One Up in Denver. There's lots of beer cades um, that are popping up in Denver that are really fun. Challenge each other to a game of skee ball or World of Warcraft. Yeah, I think it's going to be fun too for a, 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 a new couple, maybe even like a first date because it's an activity, something you can actually do. And it's not as romantic <laughs> heavy. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Definitely. Right. Definitely. Yeah. It's a little bit more casual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then you have your creative couple. So they're very hands-on. They like to be doing something and creating something. So we're, there's a lot of the the um, local sipping and painting places that you oh, can yeah. go yeah. to around. Right. So you're actually you're you're enjoying each other and you're making a memory, but you're also making a work of art. Okay. Um, and then cooking classes. How fun is that? Cook a, a wonderful, romantic Valentine's Day meal together. Yes. Um, you've got the memory of, of cooking it together. Some of us are more challenged in the kitchen than others. For sure. Um, so it might be more memorable for, for some of us. But then you also get to enjoy the delicious meal that you've made. A right. Since you're always complaining about my cooking, maybe we should go hey. together and <laughs> get some tips. Your tater tot casserole is not to be laughed at. Thank you, dear. Uh, one more thing before you go really yes. quick. <clears throat> this idea that you have to do something on Valentine's mm -hmm. Day, because guys are kind of famous for not stepping up. They are. Uh, they are. Should you, as a woman, say, look, I, I expect something on Valentine's Day. Is it okay to expect something special on Valentine's Day? Everyone's relationship is different, and yes. I even know some women that aren't that into the holiday either. Right. But the important thing is that you're doing something for the person you love. Women should do it. Men should do it. It should be equally important. And, you know, if, if, it's, if you're not really into Valentine's Day, We'll plan another time to do it. The, the point is, do something to show the person that you love, that you love them, and do something special together. Amen. And I married totally couples, this is really important for married couples. Um, sometimes people think Valentine's Day is more like, oh, well, we're dating. Yeah, I better do this to keep them appeased. Just as important, if not more, to married couples because you get stuck in mm -hmm. the rut, the rut. what you're used to. And you're, it's getting you outside of just that comfort zone and doing something new and together, and that will re-energize your relationship. Love it. Great right. advice, Hope, as always. Especially for married couples. Hey, I washed your drawers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. How much I love you. Give us the website again because you've got a great service that really goes way beyond simple online dating. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's just lunchcolorado.com. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And we got a lot more with you up in the weeks ahead. I can't wait. I know. I'm very excited. Yes. Okay. We have something special to happen. Yeah, we do. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Ope. Thanks, guys. Well, what was hot for beauty in 2014 may be on its way out for 2015. That's right. Find out what the newest trends are for this year. We're going to be looking at how you can stay.